Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Devil May Cry 5 on the RX 570. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check the Chrono GG and Humble affiliate links down in the description as well. This game was made using the same engine as Resident Evil 2 Remake. You'll find a lot of familiar options to that game in this options menu, but this game runs better. I'm sure this is because it's focused on getting to 60 frames per second more easily than on Resident Evil 2. Unfortunately, in the graphics options menu, going from the highest settings to the lowest won't be a huge improvement to performance. With that being said, the options that made the biggest difference in performance were ambient occlusion, volumetric light, shadows, effects, and shadow cache. By Lowering ambient occlusion to SSAO, you get the best combination of visuals and performance out of that setting. HDAO and HBAO Plus look better, but they are a noticeable FPS hit. Disabling this option will give us almost the same performance as SSAO in most cases. The volumetric light and shadows were usually a small performance increase, still good to have in case you need a few extra FPS. Also keep shadow cache enabled, it will give you a boost to performance, but not as much as on RE2. And finally the effects option, it's a good thing to lower a bit if you experience drops in the frame rate at the start of the game, for example, when there's a lot of that on screen. The game also starts using DirectX 12 by default, you can change it to DirectX 11 tweaking a config file. I got a couple extra FPS on DirectX 11 but people are reporting some issues, that's why I stayed with the default DirectX 12 for the testing. In some sections the game has pretty annoying stutter, like it happened on RE2, but here it seems to be worse. Lowering textures helped a bit on my end, but it's still there, I'm not sure what's causing this. Use high textures on 4GB video cards, medium on 3 gigs, and low for 2GB video cards, that usually worked well for me. And finally, this game uses the Nuvo DRM, but Capcom made a mistake and kept an executable without the Nuvo before launch. If you bought the Steam version, you can access this the Nuvo free version using Steam's console, so you can run the game on Steam but without the Nuvo DRM in effect. This is not a crack, just an executable from Capcom itself that has no De Nuvo in it, you are getting it from the Steam servers. There's a tutorial on how to do that down in the description if you're interested in trying it. Some people are claiming that this fixes the stutter and improves performance. Since I don't expect most people to try this, I'm using the version of the game on Steam with De Nuvo still in it for the performance tests. But anyway guys, that's about it, I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time! What are demons doing in a city like this? Not making it easy for me, huh? Dante. 
Demons doing in a city like this. Not making it easy for me, huh? Dante.
Demons doing in a city like this. Not making it easy for me, huh? Hold on, Dante. Demons doing in a city like this. I'm making it easy for me, huh? Yeah! Yeah! Out of the way! Yeah! 
Yeah. 